Cheers everyone, my name is Luke. Welcome to the Outdoor Gear Review. This is an advisory episode where I am alerting you all to a number of issues in regards to Ozark Tents, also known as Ozark Trail Company, something like that. Ozark Tents are typically found at Walmart, but you can find them on other websites such as Amazon and so on. I have a story which I need to share with you all, which will explain why I am issuing this alert. Okay, a few weeks back, a viewer sent me an Ozark tent, the Ozark one-person backpacking tent. And to be upfront, there are multiple one-person backpacking tents from Ozark, but that happens to be the name of this tent. Anyways, so this individual sent me this tent, wanted me to begin testing it out because it's such a budget-friendly tent, $25. So I was like, hey, why not? So I set this tent up in the yard because I wanted to test out this one question. Is a $25 tent from Walmart waterproof? So I set up the tent, it was in the rain for a couple of hours, I go outside, check it, and no, the tent is not waterproof, there's just water all over the place. It's all over the inside, around the perimeter, it leaked from a number of zones. Moving forward a few days, I have been testing out this tent still. It's time to do some filming. The night before filming, I hop online and I do a search for that tent so I can see what other people's experiences are. And I believe it was on walmart.com on their listing for this tent. It, under the reviews, there was a statement made by a reviewer. His tent began to leak. They told him that the tent was made for only perfect weather conditions only and that it should be used in the front yard of his home only. I thought that was very, very strange, and it was so specific, it didn't seem made up. So, while I was filming the video for this tent, which you guys may have seen, I noticed that there was a customer service number on the storage bag. So, I decided to give them a call and to look into this matter myself. So, I called up the customer service number, and they told me that this is absolutely correct. The tent is not made for backpacking. It is not made to handle the wind. It is not made to handle the weather either. The individual stated that if you took it out into the wind or if you took it out into the rain, it would fail. I think you calling Excel Outdoors. My name is Benji. How can I help you? Hey there, buddy. I have a question about the Ozark Trail one-person backpacking tent. And hopefully you can answer that for me. Uh, I, I, I purchased this tent and I actually came across a review on the Walmart webpage and it said that this individual had talked to customer service at Ozark and they were told that they shouldn't go backpacking with this tent and that it should only be used in their front yard. And so I was just kind of hoping to get some clarification on that. I think the clarification is really that they're really made for perfect weather. Um, if you take it out into like the wind and rain, um, it's just not made for that. It's not going to hold up well for you. Okay. I appreciate the honesty. Thank you very much. Sure enough. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Do you know what the most important aspect of that phone call is? They didn't even ask me what model of tent I was talking about. On the Walmart website, there's at least three or four different one-person backpacking tents. And that individual didn't even ask me what tent I was talking about. He didn't ask for a model number. To me, it sounded like he was talking about Ozark Trail tents in general all of them instead of just one. I think the clarification is really that they're really made for perfect weather. That is extremely deceptive, extremely deceptive, considering that they're calling this tent a backpacking tent. If you cannot take this thing out into the weather, you have no business backpacking with this tent, right? So it is for that reason, and that reason alone, that I am issuing an alert, an advisory against the purchase of Ozark products. I know some people have had good luck with Ozark products and some people haven't. In general, they are known for being a so-so quality brand. With my experiences with this one tent, I have to say that the quality is pretty darn poor. I found holes along the stitching, punching all the way through the body of the tent. I found seams that weren't taped, weren't sealed, which caused leaking. The stitching was absolutely terrible in many, many spots. In light of that information, in light of the customer service call which I made, I have to highly recommend that you do not purchase an Ozark tent. If you do, please stay close to the house, right? Stay close to your car just in case this thing fails. Whatever model of tent that you may have. If you are considering the purchase of an Ozark tent, or you have one, and you're thinking about taking it out on the trail, you need to call the customer service at Ozark to find out if your tent is recommended for that purpose. I do not want to see anyone get hurt 
I do not want to see anybody buy a tent like this, head off on the trail, and then get soaking wet, hypothermia, whatever may happen. I just don't want to see anything bad happen to you all. So it is my recommendation that you do not purchase an Ozark product. Not at least until you give them a call yourself and find out exactly what your tent can handle. I understand the value and the importance of a budget-friendly tent, and there are many good options out there, such as Teton Sports, even Marmot, other companies, they have very inexpensive models, which you can pick up for a very good price. I will have videos on those coming up soon. Now, before I end this video, I want to give you all an update in regards to the is a $25 tent from Walmart waterproof. That was a very popular video, and there was a lot of commentary from that. Tons of comments, roughly 400 right now. And I have gone through every single comment that was made. There were tons and tons of comments from individuals who had purchased Ozark products and had them fail. Lots of issues with leaking, lots of issues with ripping materials, lots of issues with breaking poles. The overall consensus here, is that Ozark, in general, makes very poor tents. Now, there was a lot of praise in regards to their outdoor equipment. Uh, tumblers, coolers, stuff like that. I noticed there was a lot of praise. Good prices there. That might be true. But when it comes to their tents, not good at all. I highly recommend that you go to that video. I will include a link in the description box for you all. Go through the comments, read them all, it's very interesting. Like I mentioned before, lots of destruction, lots of leaking, lots of issues with Ozark tents. So there you go. Also, in the comments I've seen that apparently other YouTubers have praised this tent, and I'm not sure where that praise comes from. Uh, I base all of my information, my reviews, on actual testing. I don't do boxed reviews, and essentially that's from the mailbox to the video. I don't do that. I can personally only report the issues that I've had with the product during testing, and that is what I do. So, in regards to praise for this product, it does not deserve it. Uh, read the reviews online. Watch my video. This is a bad product, without a doubt. And if you have an Ozark product, you need to make sure that it is designed for use in the outdoors. In the end, I don't want anyone to get hurt. And I feel like I have to make this video. It's not a video that I necessarily want to make, but I feel like I have to. Speaking of the deception from the Ozark Trail Company, on the packaging for the Ozark One Person Tent, it even states on there that it is weather and wind resistant. But according to the customer service agent that I spoke to, it is not. It is not made for those conditions. They're really made for perfect weather. Um, if you take it out into like the wind and rain, um, it's just not made for that. It's not going to hold up well for you. I certainly would not recommend any Ozark product based upon the information which has come to light. If you are determined to use one of their products, please call the customer service number which you will find in the description box down below. Make sure that the product can withstand the weather which you may potentially face. Again, I do not want to see anyone get hurt. And also, I don't want to see anybody throw their money away, even if it is only $25. With all that being said, I am waiting to hear from you all. Comment down below, share your thoughts concerning this company, concerning their products. What do you guys think about this advisory? Comment down below. Until next time, everyone, strength and honor. Be well. Be safe. See ya.